guys welcome to or welcome back to my channel it is that time of the month it's november 27th so i am filming this a little early but this way it doesn't come out late like every month i am going to be doing a november wrap up for you guys i read a lot this month so here's my stack of books that i read this month very exciting let's just get into it so the first book I read this month was Caught Up by Liz Tom Ford. I absolutely love this book. I gave it five stars. So this is a baseball romance. It's part of the Wendy, Wendy series trilogy, if you did not know. This follows one of the friends, obviously, and he is a professional baseball player and he has a son, so single dad trope. He is having a hard time like traveling with him because the mom's not in the picture and you know he's a baseball player. They travel a lot for games, whatever. And so enter Miller, who her his coach's daughter who his coach was like you know what she is gonna nanny for you since you keep on firing all these nannies so basically she nannies for him all season and i don't even know what to say i listened to a call up playlist while i read it and i posted the link on goodreads because i was like i feel like it put my reading experience to the next level it was so good i feel like i don't have but i feel like i read this ages ago i think i read it like november 1st like started and finished it but i absolutely loved it and i can't wait for the next book i don't know even know who the next book is gonna be about i think it's the other hockey player i'm trying to be better about not being giving every book five stars and this one like earned it like i absolutely loved it i was giggling kicking my feet and like i was having the time of my life so then i read cast in the firelight duology by dana swift and i think this was all around a three and a half star duology for me I liked it, but I talked about this in a vlog that I was trying to read it, and I just like was not into it, wasn't picking it up, and then I liked the sequel. It definitely picked up a lot, and it was quicker and um, a lot more fast-paced, which I enjoyed. These books, I don't know. They weren't like amazing. I feel like I rarely read a YA fantasy that I don't like absolutely love, and I just thought these were okay. The storylines are really interesting, and the world... I feel like the world building needed a little bit more. I feel like I didn't really understand... The magic system, it doesn't make a whole lot of sense. It just like uses a lot of like words from like the English language to describe things that like aren't the same thing. If that makes sense, like the magic, like they're like red magic. Okay, but like what is, what does red magic entail? I feel like there wasn't very, a lot of rules to the magic system. It was kind of a free for all, but I don't know. I enjoyed it enough to read both of them. This month I finally finished Masters of Death. I absolutely love Olivia's like, I love Olivia Blake. I think her writing is beautiful and amazing and I think she's so talented and I did absolutely love this book but I think I started it when I was in a slump and so then I kept putting it down picking it back up and yeah it's honestly amazing. I don't even know really how to explain it because I feel like you can read the description of it and then it's like a completely different book. I don't know. I absolutely loved it and I made it. I, ugh, I could talk for like days and hours and years about how much I love Olivia Blake so I highly recommend reading this. Um, I, I liked it more than one for my enemy too. Like it was just, it's so good. Moving on to some big books. Uh, this month I read Iron Flame by Rebecca Yaros. I read this pretty quickly for how big the book is. The book is very big, obviously, 600 something pages, and it has more words than Crescent City, which is like kind of crazy to me. And yeah, I really enjoyed it. The first book I gave five stars, obviously Fourth Wing, who didn't give it five stars? And then this one, I really gave it four stars, I think. I, I'm really torn up about this book because I loved like 99% of it, but I think the last 1% would have been better at the end of a third book. I feel like knowing that it's a five book series is really tripping me up because if it was a trilogy, I feel like the last 1% would make sense here. And I'm, I'm talking about like plot spacing, like the plot twist or plot reveal at the end of this, I feel like would make more sense at the end of a third book or fourth book in a five book series. Whereas this, it's kind of like, okay, so now we have to deal with this for the next three books unless it gets resolved but this feels like the biggest plot point across the series like how can something bigger happen so i don't know if that makes sense but so i'm trying not to spoil it but also try not to make people think that i like didn't like it i just like i feel like i'm too in tune now with how series go that i'm like why is this happening right now and i think the other reason why it confuses me as to why it is in here like i feel like she might have thrown it in to like make the book like have a big moment but i feel like it didn't need it i was genuinely surprised and happy with how interesting she made filler like it's obviously a filler book but like 
and that's what I, I expected going into it. I knew it was going to be like a filler book. Like it's a second book in a five book series. Like I knew it wasn't going to be like crazy, crazy, crazy. But I feel like she A, made the filler really interesting and B, revealed so many other like secrets in the universe. You learn about Andarna, you learn about Zayden, you learn about just magic in general. Like I feel like there was no need to put that like weird, crazy plot twist at the end. I think that could have waited another book or two and I still would have been like, I probably would have, considered rating this five stars but i feel like that really set me like put me off and it's hard then at the end of the book to be like okay well this kind of like controls your feelings about it because it's the last thing you read but yeah so i i don't know i de i definitely gave it four and a half stars um but i think i don't know if anyone else feels that way i'd love to know what everyone else thought about it but i definitely felt like it was an out of place moment for a second book my next book I read was Check In Mate by Allie Hazelwood. Five stars. Now, you know how I am on this channel. If Allie Hazelwood wrote it, I read it, loved it, and gave it five stars. And she is nothing if not consistent. I gave this five stars, and I feel like I've seen a lot of back and forth on this book because it is technically a YA. And I don't know, I think that's really frustrating for me because, well, A, I absolutely loved it, and B, I feel like I w have been reading... I don't know like I was I was a big reader in like starting in like fifth or sixth grade like where I was like voraciously reading 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 so I feel like I have read a lot of YA books in my time and I started reading adult books but in high school so I feel like it's weird or not weird but I feel like a lot of adults who are kind of reading this are like why are, it's YA why are, why is sex being mentioned because she's 18 and that's what life is like. I don't know. I feel like there's a lot of like people saying like this shouldn't be YA, but like I'm pretty sure 90% of the YA books, fantasy books, have a fade to black sex scene in them. Like, am I wrong? But I feel like I can think of so many books that <laughs> like I'm pretty sure there was a fade to black sex scene in Bound in the Cast in the Firelight duology. Like, I don't know. I feel like it made sense to me and whatever. I feel like I just had to talk about it because it's just been driving me nuts. I feel like 90% of the bad reviews I see on this are like, this isn't YA, like, like, or like, they're like, too many pop culture references, like, you're gonna give this one star because her sister loves K-pop, like, are you kidding me? So, I don't know, I feel like I need to, like, I don't want to just, like, talk about how much I love it and just, like, not acknowledge the things that people are saying are bad about it, but I feel like they're not valid reasons to rate a book bad, like, just because, literally, like, she mentioned Michelle Obama, like, it's 2023, girl, like, this takes place after Michelle Obama, like, it, <laughs> it's a reference, like, it's not even, a, I don't know, so, yeah, I don't know, I feel like I had to say that because I am acknowledging why people aren't liking it, and I disagree. I absolutely loved it. I thought it was great. And I loved the chess. And I really loved Mallory. Like, I feel like I love Allie Hazelwood's books because I am in STEM. And I love how badass she makes her STEM, like, women. And, like, how good they are at their things. But I feel like Mallory was just the baddest bitch of them all. Like, she's amazing. And I, I don't know. I absolutely loved it. I ate it up. And five stars. Six stars. Honestly. Six stars for me. Man, the collection of books I read this month is all over the place. So then I read I Was Born For This by Alice Oseman, and I think I gave this three stars. I have, like, a love-hate relationship with her books. I really enjoy them, but then she's so good at writing bad characters that it, like, ugh, makes you want to fight. This one was just a wild ride. Like, it was crazy, the things that happened in here. Basically, it's about this girl, Angel, who's a fangirl to the band. What is their band called? The Ark. And so she is a huge ARC fan. She's a fan girl. Basically, long story short, she like, she wants, she's going to go meet them. And I don't know, the way it goes down is actually kind of crazy. So I don't know. I gave it three stars. It was okay. Anyway, moving on. So then I read Blindside by Candy Steiner. And this one is a football romance. I gave this three stars because I feel like with sports romances, I feel like it's really hard to make me love it. I feel like I've been reading a lot of like three star, like average, like they're okay. Like they're not bad, but they're not like, like I don't know how often I'll think about this ever again. I feel like I've been reading that a lot. And this is a fake dating romance. And usually I really do like fake dating, but... I don't know, there was something about this that like I just didn't I didn't feel it I think I like I'm saying this now and I probably I definitely like liked it but I can barely remember much of it so I feel like I can't even say I loved it anyway okay 
Then I finally read Normal People. I've had this for ages and this was so crazy. And I feel like I was ready to give it like four and a half stars, the whole book. And then the ending, like I was like, oh, it'll be so worth it in the end. No spoilers, but I was like, stop. So I think I gave it like four stars. Like I was like, I can't give this five stars. No, not in my good conscience. And I started watching the show and the show has, was actually, has like made me feral. Like Paul Mescal, are you kidding me? I can't even think about this. Like, oh, stop. It was good, I enjoyed it and I read it pretty quickly, which was really fun. Okay, then I read Daughter of No Worlds by Carissa Broadbent. And I am, have recently really been fiending for a mystery. I need something, I want something that's not a romance because I have been hitting a lot of three-star romances, but I really wanted something that I could sink into. And this one I liked, but I feel like it was kind of, I feel like this magic system had even less rules than the Cast in the Firelight duology. Like this, the rules in this, like the way the magic works was so con, I don't want to say confusing because I feel like it didn't make me confused. I just was like, well, where are the boundaries? Like there's no boundaries on what you can do with magic. It doesn't explain how it works. Like they call it spells, but there's no speaking and there's nothing specific. You just use it. I don't know. It was very kind of confusing. I did really like the main character and the male main character. They were really awesome. And I am definitely going to be reading the next one because this is kind of crazy and I have them. But yeah, I wasn't obsessed with it like I thought I was going to be. I did really enjoy it, but yeah, it was four stars. Like it was good, but I don't know. I feel like I just needed it to like suck me in and it didn't enough. So we'll see how the second one goes, which um, makes me kind of nervous because I know Sarah Caroli. Like I think it took her like months to finish the second one and I don't know. We'll see. I'm pretty good with long books, but it makes me a little bit nervous knowing that. And I don't think she has ever read the last one. So we'll see, fingers crossed. Then I read Collide by Bal Cabra and I really, this was a three star sports romance for me. I feel like I've been reading a lot of these recently where they're good, they're cute, but like, yeah, I don't know. I really liked the ending and I thought they were cute, but it was, I feel like there was a lot of like, hmm, I don't know, I'm not sure, maybe three and a half stars I would say, but yeah, not even four stars, it was kind of disappointing. But then I read a four and a half star book. I read Night Shift by Annie Crown. This was originally published on Wattpad. And honestly, there are some really good books that come out of Wattpad. Like, let's be real. I ate this up on a, one flight. Well, maybe like a flight and a half because it was delayed like two hours while we were, or like an hour and a half while we were sitting on the plane. Anyway, ate it up. Ate it up. Ate it up. This one? <laughs> ate it up it was so cute he plays basketball and she is like a nerdy little reader and i talked about this in my vlog that i literally just filmed the wrap up like the end of for so i'm like oh, saying this all again but i feel like this book made me nostalgic for things that never happens like i wish i had a vincent when i was younger like i just like i feel like he is such a good like Oh, I can't. Like, I absolutely loved it. I gave it four and a half stars. I don't know. I was giggling, kicking my feet, screaming. But for some reason, I just, like, feel like it didn't earn a five star. But it was, like, maybe 4.75. Like, it was so close. It was so good. And I really, really liked it. I highly recommend it. And the spice was really good. Like, who taught her to write that on Wattpad? Wattpad taught her. That's what I'm saying. Okay. Then I read, oh, Beautiful Beloved by Christina Lauren. And I read Beautiful Secret by Christina Lauren. Uh, it was pretty good. I, the novellas I do not care about anymore, but I want to, I, I like to do things fully in full completion. Like I like, I like if I'm going to do it, I'm going to do it completely. And so I'm reading the novellas because <laughs> they're there. But then after this, I only have one more novella and then another full length and I'll have finished the series. This one was pretty good. I liked both of the male, the both of the main characters, but their like issues like were just talking in circles, like the same thing over and over again. And it was just kind of like, Miss Girl, like we already talked about this. Can we move on? No, apparently they can't. Anyway, if you want a little bit more commentary on it, go watch my reading vlog, <laughs> which actually might not even be out yet, but look for it it's there and then i finished the month off well actually i technically have like three more days but 
I am going to be so busy with finishing applications and finals that I probably won't be doing much reading. And then if I do, whatever, I'll talk about it in October. I read Shelter by Harlan Coben. This is a YA mystery series trilogy. And the first season of the show, well, I guess only season, there's a show on Amazon Prime, Shelter. It's based off this book. And the first season was amazing. I loved it. And then it got canceled. RIP, I'm sad. So then I was like, well, it's a trilogy. So I may as well read it. So I read it and I would give this like three, maybe three and a half stars. Like it wasn't amazing. It's definitely dated. Like it was written in 2011 and I feel like that shows, which is fine. Like it wasn't bad. It was just kind of like, okay. Um, but I bought the sequel today because I really need to know what happens. I need to know what happens. So yeah, this was, this was pretty good. Including novellas. I think that's 13 books that I read this month, which is a good month. I'm so exhausted from traveling this weekend and now I have to get back to school. So I'm gonna let you guys go. That is literally all I have to say. That is that. <laughs> I love, I'll see y'all when I see y'all and I absolutely love every single one of you. And I, uh, uh, bye. <laughs>